What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Firearms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to check out the Comfort Tag Belly Band and also we have the Fanny Pack. So let's get started. Before we get started, everyone always gets confused when I do these reviews. They're like, don't you usually carry with a gun belt in traditional holster? Yes, I do. But I do these reviews for you guys because these kind of products are not things you can go to the store and try on. And they're, they're things you have to get online and they're expensive. You have to send them back if you don't like them. It's just a lot of work. So I'm here to tell you, do they work? Are they safe? And do they function the way that they say they do? Make sure you head over to Instagram and Facebook and follow us there if you're interested in how I carry every day. I know a lot of women ask me, like, how do you do it? How do you conceal and still dress like a woman? Check us out there. The first thing I have to say is they are very, very comfortable. Out of all the belly bands I've tried, by far, these are the most comfortable out of all. And I've tried different ones that are, you know, four or five times as much as this, even more than that. So for the fact that, that they're at a lower price point and they're really comfortable and, uh, and the quality too is, is really, really good. It's better than the Dean Adams uh, corset, which is like $115. Um, I mean, it's just amazing. The quality and the comfort, it gets an A+. So today we're going to be looking at the ultimate belly band from Comfort Tac. This is the 2.0. They sent us a tan one. They also make it in black. They have it in three different sizes. And just so everyone knows, these are for men and women. So this is not just a female product. Uh, a lot of guys use this when they go to the gym or if you're going to be wearing sweatpants or pants without uh, belt loops so you can't wear a traditional gun belt and holster. It fits uh, compact, subcompact and micro pistols and most J-frame and snub nose revolvers. If you notice, it's made out of the same material as like an Alien Gear holster, it's neoprene. So it's really comfortable, it's really breathable, and uh, it has a Velcro closure, a long Velcro closure. It keeps it nice and snug in place. It also comes with an extra little pocket here. You could put an extra magazine there or your ID if you're out running and you didn't want to carry a purse or ha don't have pockets. Then of course the place where you put your gun, it comes with a magazine pouch, which is really neat because you can actually take this off and move it anywhere you want, which is really convenient. So here we have it on now. It, you can wear it higher, lower, however it's more, most comfortable to you. Just make sure you put it nice and snug. The tighter the better, because if you don't put it on tight, when you start getting up and sitting down, it's gonna move around. And for holstering, you're gonna pull this tab back with your support hand, and then you're gonna tuck it in there. And then it has this strap to keep it in place. So when you're drawing with this, you want to do a lot of dry fire practice. Just as we always teach, you want to use your firing hand to initially clear your garment. If you have your support hand free, then you're going to hold it up after you clear it. We're going to use our firing hand like a claw to clear the retention strap. So nice and slow, we're going to clear it with like a claw, go down, draw. Once again, nice and slow, we're going to take our firing hand, we're clearing our garment, we're presenting our firearm. If I were to make a suggestion, I would change this strap and make it like a traditional leather retention brake strap. All right, so what Kim's talking about, just to make it a little clear, this snap snaps on top of the back strap coming over the top. A traditional leather like the old uh, LEO style law enforcement, stuff like that, uh, the holsters, this outer strap would be on top, okay? It would snap into place. And the purpose for that is as your hand comes down, your thumb comes down, it would break the strap, okay? That's just like uh, when you're clearing a, a Kydex holster and you initially overcome that, uh, that, that friction. So this would snap it, okay, downward. So basically as your hand comes down, it would snap it. Where when you have it on the outside like this, you're kind of pulling your shirt up and then you're trying to come back and grab this or trying to grab it at the same time and it, it, it's, it's kind of clunky. Whereas if you were here, as soon as you went and got your, your firing position on there, it would break that uh, retention. And just to clarify too, you can wear a pin style. You can move it whichever position that you find that fits you guys best. I spent two weeks wearing this. I tried it with different outfits. It's fun to get to wear yoga pants all the time. Uh, you definitely do have to wear a larger shirt. It's not like you can wear something that's skin tight or it will show, but I tried it with different sweatshirts and sweaters. And as long as it wasn't really form fitting, it did a pretty good job at concealing it. Besides for the retention strap change, I also would make some kind of option where you can pay a little bit more and get a full Kydex trigger guard. I like to have it. I like having that peace of mind. I carry with it around in the chamber and I don't feel safe with just having a really thin piece of material in between my 
my trigger and you know I, I just don't like that so you can buy something like this on the well-armed woman and there's a few other people that just sell the trigger guard by themselves so if you are to get something like this I would suggest paying a little bit more and finding somebody who will make a piece that will fit inside I'll show you how it works. You can see you can just get a trigger guard like this that would fit inside and then it kind of helps keep it open too which makes holstering a lot easier. The other suggestion I would make is that you would have the option of having a cant. I prefer a cant because I feel like it helps hide it with the curve of your body and the way my body's shaped. I feel like that helps a little bit more with concealment but you know some people prefer zero so it just depends it's a preference thing but just another option I would add. Now let's look at the fanny pack. First thing I got it, I was like, oh, I'm not going to use this. I'm just not a fan of fanny packs. But I do have to say when I started to look at it and think about it, I think it has a lot of uses, especially for people who are runners and maybe you're going to run long distances and you don't want to have a belly band because it may rub you or um, irritate you. You could wear this. Um, it's very comfortable, like if you were going to go on a long hike because you can put other things in there like your phone or your wallet or your keys. It does have the holster here. Um, you can see it inside and room for mag pouches as well. Same thing though, I would just put one of those Kydex trigger guards in there to help keep it, make it safe. And honestly, if I was out hiking or out in, you know, where I might need it, I would probably just leave it kind of unzipped so I could get my hand in there really quickly and draw it. It does have these nice draw cords which makes it a lot faster to unzip and zip. But if you got to think about it, if you were in a stressful situation and you got to somehow unzip this and get it out, you're going to be all nervous and uh, your anxiety is going to be really high. So that that's one thing that kind of concerns me. But I do like this so much better than you sticking it in a purse or a messenger bag because at least this stays on you and it stays in place. If you were running or you know, if something was to happen, I don't think you're just going to stand still. You're probably going to be moving while you're trying to draw. And at least this will keep it on your body and keep it on you instead of it flapping around while you're trying to reach into a bag and get it out. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, like, share it, comment. I always love hearing from you guys. I'm hoping to do a belly band showdown kind of thing. So I have a few that I've already tried out, like the Can Can. I have the Dean Adams corset holster, the crossbreeds. I also have a new one from Tactica. It's like the female version of Alien Gear I'm going to test out soon too. So if there's any other belly bands or corset holsters or anything you're interested in, please leave them below. I'd love to hear what do you guys like to do? How do you carry? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and click that little bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can find us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.